French Canadians S. Francais are a major North American ethnic group who trace their French ancestry from the descendants of colonists who arrived in Canada from the 16th century onward. Today, French Canadians constitute the main French-speaking population of Canada, accounting for about 22% of the total population of that country. Today, French Canadians live across North America, including the United States and Canada. The province of Quebec has the largest population of French Canadian descent, though smaller communities exist throughout Canada and in the United States. Between 1840 and 1930, roughly 900,000 French Canadians emigrated to the United States, mostly to the New England region. Other terms for French Canadians that continue to reside in the province of Quebec are Quebecers or QUE acute BE acute COIs. The other major group of French Canadians are the Acadians who reside in the Maritime provinces. French Canadians constitute the second largest ethnic group in Canada, behind the English Canadians, and ahead of Scottish Canadians and Irish Canadians. Although it must be noted that essentially those in Canada of French ancestry are the largest group, due to the divide between those identifying as French Canadians and those simply identifying as French. In total, those who identify as French Canadian, French. Quebecois and Acadian number up to 11.9 million people or comprising 33.78% of the Canadian population. Etymology The French Canadians get their name from Canada, the most developed and densely populated region of New France during the period of French colonization in the 17th and 18th century. The original use of the term Canada referred to the land area along the Saint. Lawrence River, divided in three districts, as well as to the Pays d'Eno, a vast and thinly settled territorial dependence north and west of Montreal which covered the whole of the Great Lakes area. From 1535 to the 1690s, the French word Canadians had referred to the First Nations the French had encountered in the Saint. Lawrence River Valley at Stadacona and Hochelaga. At the end of the 17th century, Canadians became an ethnonym distinguishing the inhabitants of Canada from those of France. Identities Canada French Canadians living in Canada express their cultural identity using a number of terms. The Ethnic Diversity Survey of the 2006 Canadian Census found that French-speaking Canadians identified their ethnicity most often as French. French Canadians, QUE acute BE acute COIs, and Acadian. The latter three were grouped together by Jantzen as French New World ancestries because they originate in Canada. Jantzen distinguishes the English Canadian, meaning someone whose family has been in Canada for multiple generations, and the French Canadians used to refer to descendants of the original settlers of New France in the 17th and 18th centuries. Canadians was used to refer to the French-speaking residents of New France beginning in the last half of the 17th century. The English-speaking residents who arrived later from Great Britain were called Anglais. This usage continued until Canadian Confederation in 1867. Confederation united several former British colonies into the Dominion of Canada, and from that time forward, the word Canadian has been used to describe both English-speaking and French-speaking citizens wherever they live in the country. Those reporting French New World ancestries overwhelmingly had ancestors that went back at least four generations in Canada. Fourth generation Canadians and QUE acute BE acute COIs showed considerable attachment to their ethno cultural group, with 70% and 61%, respectively, reporting a strong sense of belonging. The generational profile and strength of identity of French New World ancestries contrast with those of British or Canadian ancestries which represent the largest ethnic identities in Canada. Although deeply rooted Canadians express a deep attachment to their ethnic identity, most English-speaking Canadians of British or Canadian ancestry generally cannot trace their ancestry as far back in Canada as French speakers.
As a result, their identification with their ethnicity is weaker. For example, only 50% of third-generation Canadians strongly identify as such, bringing down the overall average. The survey report notes that 80% of Canadians whose families had been in Canada for three or more generations reported Canadian and provincial or regional ethnic identities. These identities include French New World ancestries such as QUE acute BE acute COIs, Acadian, Quebec since the 1960s. French Canadians in Quebec have generally used QUE acute BE acute COIs or Quebecois to express their cultural and national identity, rather than Canadians Francais and Canadien Francaise. Francophones who self-identify as QUE acute BE acute COIs and do not have French Canadian ancestry may not identify as French Canadian. Those who do have French or French Canadian ancestry, but who support Quebec sovereignty, often find Canadians Francais to be archaic or even pejorative. This is a reflection of the strong social, cultural, and political ties that most Quebecers of French-Canadian origin, who constitute a majority of Francophone Quebecers, maintain within Quebec. It has given QUE acute BE acute COIs an ambiguous meaning which has often played out in political issues. As all public institutions attached to the provincial government refer to all Quebec citizens, regardless of their language or their cultural heritage, as QUE acute BE acute COIs. Elsewhere in Canada the emphasis on the French language and Quebec autonomy means that French speakers across Canada may now self-identify as QUE acute BE acute COIs. Acadian, or Franco-Canadians, or as provincial linguistic minorities such as Franco-Manitobain, Franco-Ontarian or Franciscois. Education, health and social services are provided by provincial institutions, so that provincial identities are often used to identify French-language institutions. Franco-Newfoundlanders, province of Newfoundland and Labrador, also known as Ternervian. Franco-Ontarians, province of Ontario, also referred to as Ontarian. Franco-Manitobans, province of Manitoba, also referred to as Manitobain. Franciscois, province of Saskatchewan, also referred to Saskois. Franco-Albertans, province of Alberta, also referred to Albertain. Franco-Columbians, province of British Columbia mostly live in the Vancouver metro area, also referred to as Franco-Columbian. Franco-Yukonese, territory of Yukon, also referred to as Yukonese. Franco-Tainois, territory of Northwest Territories, also referred to as Tainois. Franco-Nunavois, territory of Nunavut, also referred to as Nunavois. Acadians residing in the provinces of New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island and Nova Scotia represent a distinct Francophone culture. This group's culture and history evolved separately from the French-Canadian culture of Quebec. At a time when the maritime provinces were not part of what was referred to as Canada, and are consequently considered a distinct cultural from French Canadians, Brayans in Madawaska County, New Brunswick and Aroostook County, Maine may be identified with either the Acadians or the QUE acute BE acute COIs, or considered a distinct group in their own right, by different sources. French Canadians outside Quebec are more likely to self-identify as French Canadian. Identification with provincial groupings varies from province to province, with Franco-Ontarians, for example, using their provincial label far more frequently than Franco-Colombians do. Some identify only with the provincial groupings, explicitly rejecting French Canadian as an identity label. United States during the mid 18th century. French Canadian explorers and colonists colonize other parts of North America in what are today Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, Illinois, Wisconsin, Indiana, Ohio, far northern New York, and the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, as well as around Detroit. They also founded such cities as New Orleans and St. Louis and villages in the Mississippi Valley.
French Canadians later emigrated in large numbers from Canada to the United States between the 1840s and the 1930s in search of economic opportunities in border communities and industrialized portions of New England. French Canadian communities remain along the Quebec border in northern Maine, Vermont and New Hampshire as well as further south in Massachusetts. Rhode Island, and southern New Hampshire. The wealth of Catholic churches named after St. Louis throughout New England is indicative of the French immigration to the area. They came to identify as Franco-American, especially those who were born American. Distinctions between French-Canadian, natives of France, and other New World French identities is more blurred in the U.S. than in Canada, but those who identify as French-Canadian or Franco-American generally do not regard themselves as French. In L'Avenir du Français et Tats Unis, Calvin Beltman finds that since the French language has been so widely abandoned in the United States, the term French Canadian is there understood in ethnic rather than linguistic terms. French Canadian identities are influenced by historical events that inform regional cultures. For example, in New England, the relatively recent immigration is informed by experiences of language oppression and an identification with certain occupations, such as the mill workers, in the Great Lakes. Many French Canadians also identify as M.E. acute TIs and trace their ancestry to the earliest voyages and settlers. Many also have ancestry dating to the Lumber era and often a mixture of the two groups. The main Franco-American regional identities are French Canadians, French Canadians of the Great Lakes New England French, White Creoles, Missouri French Louisiana Creoles, Cajuns, Population, people who today claim some French Canadian ancestry or heritage number some 7 million in Canada and 2.4 million people in the United States. Distribution in Canada In Canada, 85% of French Canadians reside in Quebec where they constitute the majority of the population in all regions except the far north. Most cities and villages in this province were built and settled by the French or French Canadians during the French colonial rule. There are various urban and small centres in Canada outside Quebec that have long-standing populations of French Canadians. Going back to the late 19th century, eastern and northern Ontario have large populations of Francophones in communities such as Ottawa, Cornwall, Hawkesbury, Sudbury, Welland. Timmins and Windsor. Many also pioneered the Canadian prairies in the late 18th century, founding the towns of St. Boniface, Manitoba and in Alberta's peace country, including the region of Grande Prairie. The following table shows the population of Canada's that is of French ancestry. The data is from Statistics Canada. It is important to understand that the French-speaking population have massively chosen the Canadian ethnic group since the government made it possible, which has made the current statistics misleading. The term Canadians historically referred only to a French speaker, though today it is used in French to describe any Canadian citizen. It is estimated that roughly 70% to 75% of Quebec's population descend from the French pioneers of the 17th and 18th century. Comparative table for the 2011 Canadian census distribution in the United States in the United States. Many cities were founded as colonial outposts of New France by French or French-Canadian explorers. They include New Orleans, Louisiana, Mobile, Alabama, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, Prairie du Rocher and Belleville in Illinois, Dubuque, Iowa, Detroit, Michigan, Biloxi, Mississippi, St. Louis, Missouri, Creve Coeur, Missouri, La Baie, Prairie du Chen, La Crosse, and Milwaukee in Wisconsin, Bourbonnais, Illinois, and Provo, Utah. The majority of the French Canadian population in the United States is found in the New England area, although there is also a large French Canadian presence in Plattsburgh, New York, across Lake Champlain from Burlington, Vermont.
Quebec and Acadian emigrants settled in industrial cities like Fitchburg, Lemster, Lynn, Worcester, Waltham, Lowell, Lawrence, Chicopee, Fall River, and New Bedford in Massachusetts, Woonsocket in Rhode Island, Manchester and Nashua in New Hampshire, Bristol in Connecticut, throughout the state of Vermont, particularly in Burlington, St. Albans, and Bar, and Biddeford and Lewiston in Maine. Smaller groups of French Canadians settled in the Midwest, notably in the states of Michigan, Illinois, Wisconsin, Nebraska, Iowa, Missouri, and Minnesota. French Canadians also settled in central North Dakota, largely in Rolette and Bottineau counties, and in South Dakota. Some Meta still speak Michif, a language influenced by French, and a mixture of other European and Native American tribal languages. Culture. Language Canadian French is an umbrella term for the distinct varieties of French spoken by Francophone Canadians. QUE acute BE acute COIs, Acadian French, ME acute TIs French, and Newfoundland French. Unlike Acadian French and Newfoundland French, the French of Ontario, the Canadian West, and New England all originate from what is now Quebec French and do not constitute distinct varieties from it, though there are some regional differences. French Canadians may also speak either Canadian English or American English, especially if they live in overwhelmingly English-speaking Canadian provinces or in the United States. In Quebec, about 6 million French Canadians are native French speakers. 599,225 are English-speaking, Anglophones or English-speaking Quebecers, and others are Allophones. In the United States, assimilation to the English language was more significant and very few Americans of French-Canadian ancestry or heritage speak French today. 6 million of Canada's native French speakers, of all origins, are found in the province of Quebec, where they constitute the majority language group, and another 1 million are distributed throughout the rest of Canada. Roughly 31% of Canadian citizens are French-speaking and 25% are of French-Canadian descent. Not all French speakers are of French descent, and not all people of French-Canadian heritage are exclusively or primarily French-speaking. Francophones living in Canadian provinces other than Quebec have enjoyed minority language rights under Canadian law since at least 1969, with the Official Languages Act, and under the Canadian Constitution since 1982 protecting them from provincial governments that have historically been indifferent towards their presence. Religion Christianity is the predominant religion of French Canadians, with Roman Catholicism the chief denomination. The Kingdom of France forbade non-Catholic settlement in New France from 1629 onward and thus, almost all French settlers of Canada were Catholic. In the United States, some families of French-Canadian origin have converted to Protestantism. Until the 1960s, religion was a central component of French-Canadian national identity. The church parish was the focal point of civic life in French-Canadian society, and religious orders ran French-Canadian schools, hospitals and orphanages and were very influential in everyday life in general. During the Quiet Revolution of the 1960s, however, the practice of Catholicism dropped drastically. Church attendance in Quebec currently remains low. Rates of religious observance among French Canadians outside Quebec tend to vary by region and by age. In general, however, those in Quebec are the least observant while those in the United States of America and other places away from Quebec tend to be the most observant. Agriculture Canadians have selected their own livestock over the centuries, Canadian cattle, Canadian horse chanticleer chicken, etc. Traditionally Canadians had a subsistence agriculture in eastern Canada. This subsistence agriculture slowly evolved in dairy farm during the end of the 19th century and the beginning of 20th century while retaining the subsistence side. By 1960 agriculture changed toward an industrial agriculture, 